This rattlesnake is responsible for more human deaths than any other reptile in the country. And this scorpion has one of the deadliest venoms of any arachnid in the US, but neither of them compare to the most venomous of America's desert creatures. From the most painful vertebrate venom on the planet to the most toxic snake in the Western Hemisphere, today we're climbing the scale of the most venomous creature in the entire Sonoran Desert. Now have a look at this fantastic scorpion right here, huge desert hairy scorpion. These desert hairy scorpions aren't actually dangerous, but they are venomous. They're armed with a mild neurotoxin that stuns the insects they eat long enough for them to tear them apart with their powerful claws. We're gonna use this scorpion as a frame of reference for the really scary ones to come. This scale will be our guide, but it works a little different. Despite being the weakest venom on this list, this scorpion actually comes in at the top. This is because we measure venom potency in terms of lethal doses, where the smaller the number, the more potent the venom. The closer you get to zero, the deadlier the toxin. And the Desert Hairy Scorpion's score comes in at a whopping 138. Their sting is entirely ineffective against people, even fainter than a bee sting. You'll probably feel more pain from the size of their stinger than the potency of the venom. Venom. Fortunately, they're extremely reluctant to sting in the first place. They're basically the tarantulas of the scorpion world. Gentle giants who are more interested in patrolling the desert sands for insects than picking fights with humans. Hello there, little one. Look at this guy. That is actually the biggest sidewinder I've ever seen. We're out here cruising roads at night during the rain, and that brings these fantastic snakes out of hiding. This is an iconic rattlesnake of the Sonoran Desert, and like all rattlesnakes, you can bet he is dangerously venomous. And dangerously venomous is right. The sidewinder brings us down to a score of 2.7. For a human my size, it only takes 250 milligrams of their venom to be lethal. That's like a single pill of ibuprofen. But here's the interesting part. The sidewinder is so small that it physically can't give a lethal dose when they bite. These ambush hunters are eating tiny mammals like mice in their sandy desert habitat. So they never needed to have a toxin potent enough to take down anything bigger. That doesn't make their bite harmless though. Serious tissue damage can occur if a sidewinder bites you because their venom is powerfully hemotoxic. It rips your blood cells apart, causing swelling and extreme pain to the bitten limb. They may be small, but don't underestimate them. But the coolest thing about these guys isn't even their venom. Why I wanted to feature this is because they're actually a really, really unique reptile. These guys use that iconic sidewinding motion that helps them in the open, sandy deserts that they call home. You can see, they walk on those coils, and it doesn't matter how loose the sand is, they can actually move very easily over it. And it's not just the open deserts that come alive during the monsoon season. The summer rains wake up more secretive creatures that spend most of their lives deep underground. Hiking a desert road after rain can sometimes yield one of the gems of the Sonoran. There is probably no other snake that could make me this happy. Look at this thing. Look at the way it moves. Here in the US, we normally think about rattlesnakes, copperheads, cottonmouths, or water moccasins, whatever you call them, as your venomous snakes, the pit vipers. But what you probably didn't know is there's one more group of venomous snakes here in North America, and this is the iconic coral snake. The Sonoran coral snake is a brightly colored subterranean snake that most people will go their entire lives without seeing. And those colors are a warning. This snake is highly venomous, bringing us down to a score of 1.4. There aren't many snakes more venomous than this species in the Sonoran Desert, and the reason why is actually kind of unusual for North American snakes. This snake is from the Elapid family, related to cobras, mambas, and taipans. Unlike most of the rattlesnakes, the coral snake has a venom that is entirely neurotoxic. It attacks the central nervous system, shutting your body off like a light switch. And despite some myths that this snake is rear fanged and has to really chew to bite you, rest assured this snake can absolutely nail you. Like other elapids, the coral snake has small, fixed fangs in the front of its mouth. They're not huge, hinged fangs like the vipers, so it's easy to assume they can't bite as easily, but that could be a costly mistake. The nice thing about the Sonoran coral snake is they're small and as coral coral snakes go not very toxic. There are no deaths to this species of coral snake in the medical record, and I'm not entirely sure they have enough venom to kill an adult human. But as we get deeper into this region's venomous creatures, they absolutely get even more dangerous. Heading into the desert washes, we're breaking out the black lights. Our next creature's pale yellow exoskeleton is hard to spot against the sandy terrain, but once exposed to UV light, will fluoresce bright green. This 
is the Arizona Bark Scorpion. This is not just one of the most venomous creatures in the Sonoran Desert, it is the most venomous scorpion in the entire world. US and possibly in all of the North American continent. Aside from a few thick-tailed scorpions in the Central American rainforests, there is not a lot on this continent that can compete with this scorpion. Which is crazy. Look how small it is. Tiny, skinny, scrawny little scorpion. You'd think it's probably the least dangerous one, but looks can be deceiving. That creepy, ghostly appearance hides a potent, toxic secret. This guy has a powerful neurotoxin, which is able to basically paralyze the limb that it stings after it sends a jolt of searing pain through your body. And in severe cases, this thing can actually kill you. While deaths in the US are actually fairly rare, throughout their range and into Mexico, these are actually thought to kill hundreds of people a year. So, you know, you hear of things like the Sydney funnel web, Brazilian wandering spider, spiders, arachnids that are reported to be extremely deadly. This thing is killing far more people than your most frightening spiders, but it seems like we tend to underestimate it. Now, its actual potency is really only four times that of a rattlesnake, but it has a special effect that it uses to amplify its toxin. This guy actually has an enzyme that it uses to break down proteins in your connective tissues to help the venom spread. Basically, this venom has a self-absorbing agent. The venom will actually eat its way into the systems that it targets, amplifying its deadly effect. Scorpions aren't the only ones with insane venom effects. One of the most unique venomous creatures in this desert is actually a lizard. Have a look right in here. You see that lizard right there? That's a Gila monster. That is one of the most venomous creatures in the entire Sonoran Desert, and they're actually quite potent. This has one of the most toxic reptile venoms in the United States, coming in at 0.4. That thing is a force to be reckoned with. Now, you don't hear about deaths to Gila monsters too often, and the reason is their venom delivery method isn't really that effective at going systemic. Their entire shtick is just giving enough venom in a bite to give you a world of pain. Or the things like the rattlesnakes, the centipedes, even the scorpions, they're using their venom to subdue their prey. This guy, he's eating bird chicks, baby mammals, eggs, sometimes lizards. He doesn't really need that venom to subdue his prey. He's rooting around in burrows. He's rooting around in bird's nests. He's taking helpless prey. And it turns out their venom is entirely for defense. This is a very conspicuous lizard. It's big, it's slow moving, and it's brightly colored. In a big desert like this, something like that sticks out like a sore thumb. And there's a lot of stuff that would love to turn him into a meal. So that venom makes predators think twice. Because oh boy, that is the most painful vertebrate venom on earth. Hemotoxic, cytotoxic, and it has a whole lot of nasty compounds you wouldn't want in your system. So we're gonna leave him be, but that is quite a fantastic find out in the desert at night. The monsoons bring water, and even in this arid habitat, there are amphibians that persist out here. With the moisture, a giant toad hops out from its subterranean hideaway. It's not venomous, but it's toxic nonetheless. In the skin of this amphibian is one of the most potent chemical defenses of any animal in North America. Already oozing that slime all over me. I'm gonna have to wash my hands. Like this guy is incredibly toxic. This is the Sonoran Desert Toad and their toxin is not only quite potent and one of the most potent in the Sonoran Desert, it's also a really powerful hallucinogen. This toad is able to make you trip insane because the one of the primary toxins that this guy is secreting is actually a potent version of the party drug dmt but that's not what kills you what this guy is producing is a potent chemical known as bufotoxin a neurotoxin that behaves almost like elapid venom so the coral snake we saw earlier on this list this guy has a toxin just like that but basically four times as potent coming in at a score of 0.3 the sonoran desert toad is a force of nature very few things can eat this toad behind their eyes are these large bulging structures paratoid glands they store a milky white fluid that contains their chemical power their primary toxin can stop your heart in high doses and throughout their range this has caused human fatalities Problem is, people try to collect these toads to recreationally use their psychedelic poison. The DMT in their slime is not the same as recreational DMT though. Mixed with bufotoxin, this concoction can be the last thing you experience. It seems like everywhere you turn, the desert is filled with deadly life forms. Life is hard out here, and these creatures have been pushed to the extreme to survive. For many, this means extremely potent toxins for defense and securing prey, but not all of them are necessarily deadly to humans. Lurking in tucked away corners, we find our way down to the low, low score of 0.26 with the Western Black Widow Spider. 
Now have a look at that spider. Small, unassuming, but this is one of the most venomous creatures here in the Sonoran Desert. This is the Western Black Widow. Not only is it highly toxic, it is the most toxic spider drop for drop in the entire United States, armed with a potent neurotoxin called alpha latrotoxin. What it does is it attacks the calcium channels in your nerves, sending them into overdrive and causing you to enter a world of pain. The craziest thing about this spider's venom is that that active ingredient isn't for its prey. It's entirely for defense. And actually, we're pretty sure it evolved particularly to defend itself against vertebrate predators. Like all widow spiders, the western has a bright red hourglass on her abdomen. It's an aposematic warning that this spider might be the last thing you'll mess with. There's an old myth that floated around for some time that the hourglass means its bite leaves you an hour to live. However, despite my best efforts to track down reports, there are no truly verified cases of human deaths to black widows in the US. The bite leaves you with intense muscle spasms and pain for hours, even days Days, but it won't kill you. That bright mark is on the underside because these spiders actually sit upside down in their webs. Living in tree stumps, under rocks, and inside crevices, this means if a predator is rooting around in their habitat, that flash of red on black is the first thing they see and it will startle them enough to hopefully leave the spider alone. Right here at sunset is one of the most dangerous snakes we could have possibly encountered. Look at that gorgeous green coloration on this rattlesnake here. That is the iconic Mojave rattlesnake, oftentimes considered to be the most venomous rattlesnake in the country. This guy certainly is the worst snake to be bitten by in the US though. With its size, venom yield, and toxicity, you are looking at probably the most dangerous creature in the entire Sonoran Desert if you're to be bitten by it. That rattle is known throughout the Southwest to mean danger. Like the red hourglass of the widow spider, it's a sonic warning for attackers to keep their distance. We often think that when rattlesnakes are rattling, it means they're mad, but it's actually a sign of fear. Despite their powerful venoms, they know we're more dangerous to them than they are to us. But the Mojave is quite a force to be reckoned with. At a blisteringly low score of 0.23, it takes less than 22 milligrams of venom to kill an adult human my size. That's roughly the weight of a grain of sand. The reason it's so potent is because the Mojave is not like other rattlesnakes, where most rattlesnakes have hemotoxic venoms, venom that destroys the blood of their mammalian prey, the Mojave has a cocktail of deadly toxins. Their venom is both hemotoxic and neurotoxic, like a combination of the typical rattlesnake venom and elapid venom. The bite of this snake is extraordinarily dangerous, but the reason they aren't killing people left and right is because they're actually quite uncommon. Finding these large rattlesnakes is actually easier said than done these days because as you saw right there, they get run over by cars and their habitat is rapidly shrinking. They're not like the diamondback, which can live pretty much anywhere. They have to have these open grassy deserts. Problem with that is though, the open grassy deserts are remarkably easy to develop. And we develop this land, these snakes don't have anywhere to go. As much as their challenging habitats push them to extreme adaptations like powerful venom, they're so well adapted to life in the desert, they can't exist without it. This is true of many of the creatures on this list. The very challenges that have pushed them to be the most venomous of their kind are also the conditions they require to survive. The Sonoran Desert isn't the only habitat like this either. If you're enjoying this video so far, consider subscribing to the channel. I've got several videos in the works digging into the extreme animals of some of our planet's most unique habitats and you won't believe the insane adaptations these lead to. But we're not done here yet. The Mojave rattlesnake is toxic, but to get to one of the most potent of the Sonoran's venoms, we need to head out in the heat of the day. It's getting real now. This is the Maricopa harvester ant with a lethal dose of 0.12. These ants are not only rivaling things like cobras and sea snakes with their venom, they are the most toxic ant in the entire US, the entire North American continent, the entire Western Hemisphere. Actually, they're the most venomous insect in the entire world. Nothing, no insect has a venom as potent as these creatures right here. But what's actually insane is they're not using this venom to subdue prey. Much like the Gila monster, it's actually a defense. It keeps them alive. It keeps their nests safe and makes sure that predators can't mess with them. Out here in the desert, it's a challenging place to live. And there are lots of animals, things like mammals, other insects, 
that would love to take advantage of the fact that these guys have massive stores of seed pods, leaves, and other plant materials deep down in their nest. So these guys need to have cunning defenses to make sure that the food that they've worked hard to harvest from the environment actually remains their food. And for that, they have that incredibly potent neurotoxic venom. But the Maricopa harvest ant is not the most venomous creature in the Sonoran Desert. Home to over 10,000 species of insect, 400 species of spider, 50 species of scorpion, and 60 species of snake, only one creature can claim the lowest score on the LD50 scale of this habitat. Comment below what you think is the most venomous species here. As we hike deep into the desert canyons, we get closer to being face to face with the animal armed with the Sonoran Desert's most powerful toxin. This creature has been pushed to the absolute limit in this rugged habitat. Slinking in rock crevices in southern Arizona, we have a creature so toxic it comes in at a score of 0.06, among the most potent toxins produced by an animal. And around a bend, I spot the exact creature this score belongs to. All right, before he gets off the trail here, look at that. That is exactly what I came out here to see. This is the most venomous creature in the entire Sonoran Desert, the tiger rattlesnake. Look at that, fantastic, fantastic reptile. I love that tiny little head on that thick rattlesnake body and that gorgeous banded patterning. He's actually getting back off into the canyon here because he is about to go hunt for lizards in these rock walls, probably warming himself up on this very same blacktop trail that is headed deeper and deeper into the canyon. A little rattle there. Look at that snake right there. That is just insane. These guys have a potent neurotoxic venom, almost more like an elapid than a viper. Or most rattlesnakes have a hemotoxin, destroying the blood cells and tissues of their prey, almost like a digestive enzyme they're using to kind of pre-digest their food. This guy is hunting reptiles, which don't have the same kind of warm-blooded circulatory system that mammals do. So he needs a different approach to actually subdue his prey. And for that, he has a really, really deadly solution. That neurotoxic venom is in the upper echelon of reptile venoms worldwide. You are looking at not just the most venomous rattlesnake, not just the most venomous snake in the US, but the most venomous snake in all of the North American continent, in all of the Western hemisphere. That is one impressive, impressive reptile, but there's a good chance you may not have even heard of it before, unless you are a snake person. That is because despite their potent venom, they actually have not killed anyone in our medical history. And part of the reason is, look at that tiny head there. Despite being a venomous snake, his venom yield is quite low. And with envenomations, the dosage makes the poison. There are plenty of spiders that have more potent venom than him, but if they're only injecting a tiny, tiny bit of venom, they're not gonna kill you. And this guy is usually not injecting a lethal dose when he bites. It doesn't make his bite any less dangerous though. So this is a creature we absolutely need to respect. And so we're gonna let him go right back into the night. But what an incredible, incredible journey through the venomous creatures of the Sonoran Desert. This desert is full of secrets, and together we're gonna continue to unravel them. But it's not the only habitat that's pushed its wildlife to the extreme. On the other side of the country, the sandy pine savannas have produced another extreme rattlesnake, the largest in the world. But it's hiding an even crazier secret than just a venomous bite, which we investigate in this video right here. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.